Avalanche price prediction. The fall of 2024. Which altcoins will come back? Well, Avalanche is one of them. And how can we use Lux Algo to figure out where Avalanche can go? Trading cur currently at $27 a coin. The 2021 high is 150. Can it get back there? And if so, how fast? If you need a roadmap in crypto, subscribe to this channel. Turn on alerts so you know when we're going live. And if the content works for you, please hit the like button. I am your host, Bill Noble. And this show is brought to you by Lux Algo. The affiliate link is down in the description below. So let's get to work on Avalanche. The first thing you're going to notice are these big yellow support bands. Lux Algo has something called price action concepts. Here, I clicked show breakers. So the person who taught me this says it can be really great to show these big blocks because Lux Algo can go back in time and find big, big volume zones that were inflection points. So here, mysteriously, Lux Algo kind of locates areas from the bear market where the bears took control, crushed avalanche, and triggered crypto winter. Luxalgo is now identifying that as support. So when Luxalgo came down here on Black Monday, the crash in early August 2024, guess what? The bears got met by a wall of support. So I mean that's that was the first hint to me that hey, maybe there's not there's a major bottom going on here. Now, it's a gray line and it's subtle, but Luxalgo also has something called equilibrium. In other words, What's the organically natural price for Avalanche? Huh? Well, Lux Algo marks it out as 75. It's almost like a quantitative way of saying, where should this be trading? 75. Algo Avalanche, excuse me, trades at 27. So if you have an equilibrium that far above the market, how would you get there? Well, I don't know. Let's take the last cycle. Just cut it out here and let's move it over here to this cycle and see what we get. All right. So we don't get a perfect pattern match, right? I'm just going to leave them both here so you can see them. But what you're going to notice is, is that since June, since, you know, everybody, I don't know, got all bearish. They made up these reasons why altcoins would go down. Why would altcoins go down? I think they were going down because big players were pressuring altcoins by shorting the perpetual contracts to try to push Bitcoin lower. They were trying to buy the big coins. So they pressured the market for six months. Matter of fact, they pressured the market for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 weeks. 12 additional weeks that this, I don't know, current market diverged from the last cycle. So let's go back to Lux Algo. If equilibrium is up here at 75, and I have a theory that avalanche has been artificially low for 12 weeks, the whole idea of equilibrium is that, oh yeah, that's where the scales balance. If you ever took economics, you'll hear all about that with supply and demand. So equilibrium is, I don't know, 2x higher than where it is right now. 3x actually. So it doesn't belong where it is. It's underrated, possibly undervalued, away from equilibrium. And if you follow the last cycle, over the last 12 weeks, it should have been going up and instead it went down. And this is the question I have for you. What happens if there's a catch-up rally? What happens if everyone wakes up and says exactly what I just did and goes, wait a minute, this thing's been going down for 12 weeks. This thing should go straight up. This should be an up only mode. So the high in avalanche is 150. Equilibrium is 75. If you look down here at the oscillator matrix, right? That's what the Lux Algo sort of all purpose RSI type tool looks like. You're going to see a green triangle here, which was a buy signal actually, you know, several weeks ago. Indicating to me that this whole Black Monday related crash was just a complete flush out. Past cycles have seen Avalanche or any other altcoin go down for like, I don't know, two months. This one lasted from March until August. So if the correction was 
overly deep or excessively deep, couldn't the ensuing rally be excessively large? One other thing that we did, what I did with Fibonacci tools is that I started here and I'm trying to look at time. So I say there's the beginning of Avalanche and here was the beginning of the big rally up back in the last cycle in 2021, then these Fibonacci lines automatically extend themselves. Interestingly, the start of the big rally, that first wave up in 2021, that led to that incredible blow off top after this correction, you hit the Fib number there, and it turns out it pops right over here to January where crypto winter started. So you have the beginning of the bull, the beginning of the bear. And again, you know, these lines, they automatically extend themselves out. And look what we have here. Starting on the recording date of this video, right? The week of August 26th, this is when Avalanche actually should take off. <clears throat> start of the bull, start of the bear, start of the bull. What's the start of the bull going to look like? Where is it going to go? I don't know. Well... It's got to get the equilibrium at 75. It's got to catch up to the type of rally it had the last cycle. It's been going down when it's supposed to go up. And the high is 150. Just in case, you know, you need, you know, any more convincing on this, you know, equilibrium type idea. You know, the equilibrium in Ethereum versus Bitcoin is materially above where the market is right now. And if you look closely at this chart, which is a weekly chart of Ethereum versus Bitcoin on a log scale. What do you see? Well, massive capitulation in Ethereum earlier in the year versus Bitcoin. So Bitcoin ETF comes out, everyone dumps ETH, and now everyone's dumping ETH again, right down into these green bands, which are a part of the Lux Algo signals and overlays indicator, showing you that perhaps Ethereum versus Bitcoin is too stretched out to the downside. And you have this X indicator, which is essentially a bottoming signal telling you downside momentum is fading. So if you have Ethereum versus Bitcoin, perhaps about to wake up very far away from its equilibrium price, you have Avalanche with massive distance to go to its equilibrium, massively away from its all-time high, current price 25, all-time high 150, and ask yourself this question. How big can the ensuing altcoin rally be? My answer is really big.